45, day 96. Slept right here. Not great, but it was getting dark and we were tired. The little guy, such an orange head. Little bird eggshell we found on the ground. Seems to be. Oh. What? There's a yolk in here. Just about 7.40. The trail is pretty muddy from yesterday's rain, but you can already feel like the heat coming in for the day. It's going to be, I think, like mid-90s at the height of today or for the high of today. So it's going to be a toasty one. Luckily, we're getting into, gosh, Port Clinton, I think, and then we'll probably hitch into Hamburg. And that'll be good. I think we're going to try and get new shoes, which will be exciting. But so interesting i was just thinking because we met a whole bunch of new people and everyone's like oh when when, when did you start like da, 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 da. and it's really interesting just thinking how different the trail feels like a couple months in and how much has happened with hiking and the bachelorette party i went to for my sister and then the wedding and seeing a bunch of friends and family and then the job thing so there's been a lot of uh stuff going on and still hiking still getting it done but it's interesting thinking about how much longer we have, especially after hitting 1,200 miles and thinking, wow, we only have like a thousand left. So the countdown, I guess, begins. But we're gonna get close to the shelter now. So see you there. I'm wearing my third pair of socks today. They are now soaking wet, so now I only have one holy pair of dry socks. So we're gonna see if we can dry some other socks out today and continue on this journey, but it's becoming a struggle. Snake Farm's got two dry pair in his pocket. So we'll see what happens. Yikes, up we go. Trying to dry our stuff a little bit. Your socks still wet, mine are still wet. Yeah, wet, soggy, dirty. Yeah, dirty. They're not that bad, but not good. Yeah, so we have three miles, 2.2 to get into Port Clinton and then we'll get somebody to eat and then do some resupply and whatever else, look into the shoes and whatnot. Finishing up a break and I got another big snake in the trail. Eleven now. It's definitely getting toasty. Thankfully we are in the shade but just from the amount of rain that came through yesterday I can feel it just soaking into the air. So very hot, very humid, very sticky honestly and uh, yeah we should be getting close to town. I think we're probably like two and a half miles, maybe two miles. And we're just working out some plans to maybe see some of my family next week, which is really exciting in New Jersey. So we're just going to move on, but I'm very excited to get to town and get some snacks and 
maybe new shoes. It's a little bit of a view. I think this is Auburn Lookout. Blooming out here. Look at all these azaleas. Very steep going into Port Clinton, but we're getting close. Just saw some youths running down. <laughs> we met the other day, which is pretty fun. But steep, 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 steep. It's hard to see on this, but yes. I know, so I guess you can take this trail into Hamburg. It's like 2.2 miles of Yeah, this is three, but woohoo, flat! to Broadway. Pretty cute. You can hear the, the bell tolling because it's about noon now. Going into the candy shop. Like a kid in the candy store. Oh my gosh, yeah. I would have slept over from uh, Easter. Yum. Cheers to us. Oops, sorry. And then we got a bunch of chocolates. My bad, love. Chocolates to try. Yum. Made it to Dunkin' Donuts. We got a ride with Alex and Adia, who are so nice. They're gonna go pick up a kayak and they actually are gonna go hiking in New Hampshire later. So we're like, maybe we'll see you. But it's really nice. We we're starting to lose a little hope because we had seen so many cars and not that many people picked us up, but good news. Grilled cheese with pesto and some. Now that we got our fill of dunks, we're going to the biggest Cabela's in the world, apparently. Hopefully they will have some shoes for us. Over 1,200 miles, I think I had 200 on the AZ team, 1,400. Now, new shoes, baby, woo! All right, snake farm shoes. Old stinky shoes. Yeah, can we see the front where that hole is in that one? Right there, yikes, yikes. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit destructive. Now he's got nice new ones, woohoo! I didn't even see the sign, but look, they have shuttles back, so we're gonna try and do that. Action. All right, Snow, we got some new shoes. Get some new shoes. We got a free hot dog for Customer Appreciation Day and oh, yeah, a free, yeah. free bottle of water. We're heading over to Walmart, which they've hidden way back in this shopping plaza, so we gotta go all through it to get to it, but I'm gonna go there and resupply. Yeah, it's really nice because Cabela's, Cabela's also gives you a ride back to the trail. So we have a shuttle at five, which is super awesome because the hitch was a little bit more difficult than we thought yeah it took a while a nice couple gave us a ride in but cabela's just shuttles back to the trail at 10 1 and 5 so it's three now we're gonna resupply probably get some more food and catch the shuttle now we're back on trail how was it there, internet viewers we're leaving port clinton pa after a quick stop in hamburg pa home of the world's largest cabela's yeah i would believe it so we got like a <laughs> bunch of pictures and uh <clears throat> yeah we just left uh port clinton hotel or whatever it's called and they had a bar down there pretty nice nice tight cozy space yeah we got a beer too we met some other people who are through 
just met some people. Yeah. They gave us a free. Somebody gave me a free quarter pitcher of beer. Somebody gave it to me. I don't know who it is, but I appreciate you. It was the bartender, but that's bartender. okay. And uh, met a couple people who are flip flopping, which is really fun. Just chatted with them for a bit, and a couple of locals who were interested about the trail, which is really fun and nice. So it was a great interaction. Got some new shoes. Yeah, styling. Straight up. Yep. Got somewhere to sleep. Excellent. Seven forty, basking in that golden light. Last bit of daylight, climbing up this huge incline, but at least it's not as hot as it was.